Bonjour! My name is Raul Humuad Gutang Jr. and I am your presenter today. Many individuals do not think about the damage they are causing in biodiversity. However, it is important as humans to realize the impact we have on biodiversity because without it, there would be no human existence. If no changes are made in the ways humans use resources on Earth, there will be continue to be a degradation of biodiversity until human lives can no longer be sustained. It's important for humans to realize how their actions affect biodiversity and the importance of maintaining what biodiversity is left on Earth through proper education and by demanding that governments make decisions to preserve biodiversity, the human population will be able to sustain life on Earth longer. This is me speaking and join me as we unravel a new chapter in sustaining biodiversity and saving ecosystems. Here is the course outline. Number 1. Extinction Endangered and Threatened Species Number 2. Sustaining Terrestrial and Aquatic Biodiversity And before we dive into the lush and vivid splendor of Mother Nature, here is a fun fact. Did you know that you can't sink in the Dead Sea? It is 8 to 9 times more salt than all the other oceans and seas, creating buoyancy that causes you to float. Alright, in this outline, the students will be able to understand the convention to save species and plants from extinction and their habitats from destruction. Raise an appreciation and deeper understanding of species, ecosystems, and the interconnectedness of the living world. And lastly, thereby avoid the mismanagement, misuse, and destruction of biodiversity. Vamos! Let us begin our discussion. What is biodiversity and why is it important? Biodiversity is a term that is given to describe the variety of life on Earth and the natural patterns it forms. Biodiversity provides functioning ecosystems that supply oxygen, clean air and water, pollination of plants, pest control, wastewater treatment, and many ecosystem services. This involves diversity of genes within a species, of species within ecosystems, and of ecosystems in the biosphere. Although many humans may not realize how important biodiversity is to them, it is clear that without it, humans would not be able to exist. Simply put, there would be no population of humans without biodiversity. Isn't it interesting to just know that you share this world with millions of other species that you didn't even know? In this chapter, we will look into the types of biodiversity in greater depths. We are sure it will take you into a different world altogether. Biodiversity is built out with three intertwined features. We have the genetic diversity, species diversity, and ecosystem diversity. Genetic diversity is all the different genes contained in all individual plants, animals, fungi, and microorganisms. It is basically the variety of species expressed at the genetic level by each individual into a species. For example, in the species of human beings, each human shows a lot of diversity in comparison to another human. People living in different regions show a great level of variation. Species diversity is a variety of species within a habitat or a region. Some habitats such as in rainforests and coral reefs have many species. It is the biodiversity observed in a community. For example, it is usually observed that civilization residing beside water bodies show more species than the one compared areas away from water bodies. Ecosystem diversity is a variety of ecosystems in a given place. An ecosystem is a community of organisms and their physical environment interacting together. An ecosystem can cover a large area such as a whole forest or a small area such as a pond. It defines the diversity observed among the ecosystems in a particular region. Examples of genetic diversity. Different breeds of dogs. Dogs are selectively bred to get their desired traits. Different varieties of rose flower, wheat, etc. Species diversity. Australia's Great Barrier Reef is an example of species diversity. It is the home to the largest coral reef in the world. It contains approximately 400 different types of coral species, 150 fish species, 4,000 species of mollusks, and 10 species of turtles. Ecosystem Diversity Ecosystem Diversity The Amazon is one of the most biodiverse places on Earth. Over 3 million species live in the rainforests, and over 2,503 species 
species or one third of all tropical trees that exist on Earth help to create and sustain this vibrant ecosystem. Moving forward, what is taxonomy and why is it important? Taxonomy entails the description, naming, and the classification of living things. Taxonomy is crucial because it provides basic understanding about the components of biodiversity which is necessary for effective decision making about conservation and sustainable use. Beside here are the levels of classification. Apparently, we've learned this from our past school years but let me just give it small takeaways from these. The classification system commonly used today is based on the Linnean system and has eight levels of taxa. From the most general to the most specific, these are the domain, kingdom, pylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Domain. The highest level constitutes three domains of life. We have kingdom. The second most level constitutes five kingdoms. Phylum, a group of related classes. Class, a group of related orders. Order, a group of related families. Family, a group of related genera. Genus, a group of related species. Species, a group of similar organisms. Shockingly, every Texan is in trouble. Now we go first with amphibians. Frogs, toads, and salamanders are disappearing because of habitat loss, water and air pollution, climate change, ultraviolet light exposure, introduced exotic species, and disease. Because of their sensitivity to the environmental changes, vanishing amphibians should be viewed as the canary in the global coal mine, signaling subtle yet radical ecosystem changes that could ultimately claim many other species, including humans. Birds as such, they provide an important bellwether for tracking changes to the biosphere. Declining bird populations across most all habitats confirm that profound changes are occurring on our planet in response to human activities. Habitat loss and degradation have caused most of the bird declines, but the impacts of invasive species and capture by collectors play a big role too. Fish Thus, it's not surprising that there are many fish species that are endangered in both freshwater and marine habitats. In North American marine waters, at least 82 fish species are imperiled. Across the globe, 1,851 species of fish, 21% of all fish species evaluated, were deemed at risk of extinction by the IUCN in 2010, including more than a third of sharks and rays. Invertebrates of the 1.3 million known invertebrate species, the IUCN has evaluated about 9,526 species with about 30% of the species evaluated at risk of extinction. Freshwater invertebrates are severely threatened by water pollution, groundwater withdrawal, and water projects while a large number of invertebrates of notable scientific significance have become either endangered or extinct due to devastation, especially because of the rapid destruction of tropical rainforests. Mammals About 90% of primates, the group that contains monkeys, lemurs, lorids, galagus, tarsiers, and apes as well as humans live in tropical forests, which are fast disappearing. In addition to primates, marine mammals, including several species of whales and dolphins, are among those mammals slipping most quickly towards extinction. Plants. They are also the source of a majority of medicines in use today. Global warming is likely to substantially exacerbate this problem. Already, scientists say warming temperatures are causing quick and dramatic changes in the range and distribution of plants around the world. Reptiles. Island reptile species have been dealt the hardest blow, with at least 28 island reptiles having died out. The main threats to reptiles are habitat destruction and the invasion of non-native species which prey on reptiles and compete them for habitat and food. What is the aim of conservation? Conservation mainly depicts preserving the natural resources for the upcoming future generations. Our environment comprises many natural resources which plays a significant role and cannot be developed artificially. The main aim of conservation is to preserve the natural resources, forests, wildlife, plants, and biodiversity. Human Actions 
there is no clear of determining the total impact that humankind are making on biodiversity. However, it is obvious that many actions human actions there is no clear way of determining the total impact that humans are making on biodiversity however it is obvious that many actions by humans are causing a decrease in biodiversity to determine the total impact that humans are making on a given environment the area productive land and the water needed to produce the item that is being consumed and the need to account for the waste being generated by humanity must all be taken into account according to the management and production practices in use during that time. Direct or indirect actions by humans have resulted in a decrease of biodiversity. The Convention of Biological Diversity states that there are both indirect and direct human drivers. Some of the indirect human drivers are demographic, economic, social, political, scientific, and technological, and cultural and religious factors. Some of the direct human drivers are changes in local land use and land cover species, introductions or or removals, external inputs, harvesting, air and water pollution, and climate change. Extinction of species. The extinction rate is of great concern because once a species is extinct, there is no chance of ever getting that species back on the planet. There are three main problems that cause species extinction. First, we have habitat loss. Second, degradation. And lastly, fragmentation. Habitat loss is described as a complete destruction of a habitat. An example of habitat loss would be logging of a forest. All three of these problems that result in species extinction are directly related to human influence. It is expected that 80% of biologically rich regions will suffer great losses of plant and animal species because of global warming. Key areas of human activity causing biodiversity loss include reversing biodiversity loss. Humanity impacts the planet's biodiversity in multiple ways, both deliberate and accidental. The biggest threat to biodiversity to date has been the ways humans have reshaped natural habitats to make way for farmland or to obtain natural resources, but as climate change worsens, it will have a growing impact on ecosystems. Some models predict that climate change change will become the primary cause of biodiversity decline in the coming decades. The impact of all main drivers of biodiversity loss is accelerating and as a consequence, so is the place of biodiversity decline. How do humans affect biodiversity? Deforestation. Tropical rainforests are particularly rich in biodiversity and are being destroyed. Pollution such as that associated with this widespread pesticide use and overuse of fertilizer, which are 6 and 12 times greater than they were before respectively. Hunting and the overexploitation of species such as in wild capture fisheries, but also for wildlife trade. Spread of invasive species and diseases through trade and travel. Climate change as a warming and changing rainfall patterns alters species ranges and the underlying water and chemical cycles which define current ecosystems. Here are five reasons why biodiversity matters to human health, the economy, and your well-being. Number one, biodiversity ensures health and food security. Biodiversity underpins Biodiversity underpins global nutrition and food security. Millions of species work together to provide us with a large array of fruits, vegetables, and animal products essential to a healthy balanced diet, but they are increasingly under threat. We must ensure this knowledge remains part of our modern agricultural and food systems to prevent diet-related diseases and reduce the environmental impact of feeding ourselves. Number two. Biodiversity helps to fight disease. Higher rates of biodiversity have been linked to an increase in human health. First, plants are essential for medicines. For instance, 25% of drugs used in modern medicine are derived from rainforest plants, while 70% of cancer drugs are natural or synthetic products inspired by nature. 
Biodiversity benefits business. According to the World Economic Forum's recent Nature Risk Rising Report, more than half of the world's GDP, $44 trillion, is highly moderately dependent on nature. There is a great potential for the economy to grow and become more resilient by ensuring biodiversity. Biodiversity provides livelihoods. Ecosystems, therefore, must be protected and restored not only for the good of nature, but also for the communities that depend on them. Although some fear environmental regulation and the safeguarding of nature could threaten businesses, the restoration economy, the restoration of natural landscapes provides more jobs. Biodiversity protects us. Biodiversity makes the earth habitable. Biodiverse ecosystems provide nature-based solutions that are buffer from us natural disasters such as floods and storms, filter our water and regenerate our soils. Protecting and restoring natural ecosystems is vital to fighting climate change. The four R's. In order to educate the community on waste minimization, the Department of Recycling and Resource Management uses the four R's, which are reduce, reuse, recycle, and rethink. It uses the four R's as a tool to engage community members in order to lower their carbon footprint. Reuse. A conscious consumer purchases durable products that are meant to last as opposed to disposables which add to the waste stream. If you find a new use for an item or someone else who could use it, give it a second life instead of throwing it away. Recycling. Conserves resources by keeping them in circulation, reducing the depletion of non-renewable resources such as fossil fuels used to manufacture products from virgin materials. And lastly, rethink. Consider the consequences of your actions and what impacts they will have on the environment. Be a conscious consumer and minimize your footprint on this earth. Conserving terrestrial ecosystems. Terrestrial biodiversity is a variation of life forms within a given ecosystem or biome that refer to species that inhabit in the land. Nepal has experience in protecting forests of different types. Wild animals such as leopards and bears were rare a few decades ago but are now growing in number. Laughing the earth down degradation of natural habitats threatens the country's flora and fauna. Worldwide, 2.6 billion people depend directly on agriculture, but 52% of the land used for agriculture is moderately or severely affected by soil degradation. The following policies to restore nature. River cleaning campaigns should be initiated throughout the country based on the lessons learned from the Bagmati cleanup campaign. Construction projects in environmentally sensitive areas should be strictly monitored. And bioengineering should be adopted in slow. The importance of aquatic biodiversity. Aquatic biodiversity has enormous economic and aesthetic value and is greatly responsible for maintaining and supporting overall environmental health. Humans have long depended on aquatic resources for food, medicines, and materials, as well as for recreational and commercial purposes such as fishing and tourism. Human activities have destroyed or degraded a large portion of the world's coastal wetlands, coral reefs, mangroves, and ocean bottoms, and disrupted many of the world's freshwater ecosystems. Bycatch. No targeted marine animals and fish that are caught in nets with the target fish human activities that affect marine in ecosystems and fishing. Overfishing, habitat destruction, and the pollution of waters with organic pollutants, municipal wastes, pesticides, and fertilizers. We can protect and sustain marine biodiversity. Here's the things we can do to save the ocean. Mind your carbon footprint and reduce energy consumption. When shopping or dining out, help reduce the demand for overexploited species by choosing seafood that is both helpful and sustainable. Don't purchase items that exploit marine life. Certain products that contribute to the harming of fragile coral reefs and marine populations. Be an ocean-friendly pet owner. Support organizations working to protect the ocean. This clip explains how abundant aquatic biodiversity is insecure. People there strive to preserve and protect it because it's one of their local enchantments that has brought pride and honor to their tourism ventures. The pristine beach and immaculate white sand fascinated me the most and I get to think that's mainly the reason why Secure was dubbed the mini Boracay Island here in the Philippines. It's incredibly impressive because fishes can be discovered in shallow waters and marine creatures are all thriving indeed. Our
Mother Earth needs us more than ever. May we redirect our steps and recalibrate our minds to help save our lush and wild ecosystem, because this is our only home, our only Earth. Thanks for watching!